All right, everyone, this is Zero Budget Geek, and welcome to Sentinels of the Multiverse. All right, so with the release of the brand new Shattered Timelines expansion, I decided to revisit Sentinels of the Multiverse, and I'm going to be playing through, uh, you know, a lot of the different scenarios, trying out the different villains, and trying it out with a lot of the new content. So I hope you guys enjoy this series on my digital tabletop series. So let's uh, go ahead and get started. All right, so here we go. So we're gonna be facing off Baron Blade, and because uh, Legacy is his nemesis, we're gonna put ne uh, Legacy in there. We've got some of the new characters: the Chrono Ranger, Omnitron X, and I decided to include uh, two of the uh, mini expansion ca pack characters: Unity and the Scholar. And because in a previous episode, uh, a long time ago, actually last year, I defeated the Baron Blade before, I decided let's go ahead and fight him in D Block, which is a sort of a multiverse uh, prison. So anyway, let's get f started. At last, the destruction of my greatest foe is at hand. Legacy shall fall. Stand down, Baron. The price of your hatred should not be the entire planet. Onward. Alright, so we're gonna start game. Uh, we could take the time to look through our hands and see what's new, but we'll, we'll, we'll get to that as we get through. We're we'll, we'll, we'll just gonna start. Baron Blade's not really that terrible. So he puts out his mobile defense platform, which has 10 hit points, uh, and his blade battalion, which will attack one of us. It hits Legacy. Uh, now we cannot damage Baron Blade uh, until we get rid of this mobile defense platform. And for those of you new to uh, Sense of the Multiverse, uh, well, we're just a bunch of heroes facing off against this villain and we need to reduce his hit points from 40 down to zero, at which point he'll flip over and we have to hit him another, you know, he has 30 more hit points and he'll become more difficult so anyway uh let's see with legacy what's gonna be our first thing uh bolster allies is kind of nice everybody would draw a card danger sense is good next evolution is not really useful yet and take down not really ne i think i'm gonna go ahead and do bolster allies each player draws a card so we'll play that and i'm gonna sit, hit, hit, hit choose for me and everybody's gonna draw a card i drew an inspiring presence which is awesome Kill on sight. We'll we'll go into all those cards when we encounter them. All right, so everybody drew a card, and then now Legacy can use a power. So you play one card per turn and use one power. He's gonna use this power until the well. Let's let's zoom in. Uh, galvanize until the start of your next turn. Increase damage dealt by hero targets by one. One of the best powers in the game. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uses galvanize, and we all do more damage. And he draws a card at the end of a turn. Surge of Strength. Okay, Chrono Ranger. Uh, let's look at what he's got. Eye of the Prize. It does a damage to a target. He can draw a card, play a card. Just doing my job. Uh, all the players can choose to discard uh, cards and then he will draw cards. I don't like that card that much. Kill on sight. Play this card next to... This is a bounty card. These are cool. He plays bounties next to targets and then if he uh, kills them, he collects a bounty. So this one is, when that target leaves, play draw three cards and destroy this card. That's actually pretty nice. Neurotoxin Dart Thrower is also useful. And the ultimate target is really great. Uh, Increase the damage dealt by Chrono Ranger to that target by one. The first time that target deals damage, each turn you may use the power. So I'm going to go ahead and use Eye on the Prize. Uh, so we'll play this. And that'll let me do a damage to a target. So I'm going to get rid of, hit this blade battalion. And it gets plus one because of the galvanize. So we will hit that. And he drew a card because of the eye on the prize. And then eye on the prize lets him play another card. We are going to play this, the ultimate target. Uh, we're going to put that. And it's, we're going to put it on Baron Blade. And now every time Baron Blade deals damage, uh, we are going to be able to use a power. Uh, at least the Chrono Ranger will. So we'll put it on them, and then Chrono Ranger does extra damage to uh, to him. And then I can use a power. My power is deal one target, one projectile damage. So we're gonna go ahead and hit this Blade Battalion, and there we go. All right, Sudden Contract is what he drew. That's actually pretty nice. Okay, so now it's Omnitron X's turn, and let's see here. We have a Bioengineering Bean. 
Uh, he can use this to destroy an environment card, and then he does two damage to something. Uh, Gaussian Coil Blaster. At the start of your turn, uh, Omnitron X deals three targets, one lightning damage each. That is cool. Rocket Punch uh, deals one target, two projectile damage, and then Omnitron may deal one target, one projectile. That's pretty useful now technological or advancement switch your deck for a plating card or a component card put into play shuffle your deck you may draw a card uh, that is really useful as well he's got another one of those um, I think right now I want to put the rocket punch would let me uh, hit this thing right now uh, I'm not sure if these guys are gonna be able to get to attack is she gonna get to attack on her turn um, she will not so I want to I want to get a shot off this turn, so we're gonna go ahead and do this rocket punch. So it's an equipment. I'll play that, and then I now I have a choice of powers. I can either do uh, this power, we will do the top card of a deck, put into play or into the trash, or I can do this power, uh, deal one target, two projectile damage, and then deal one target, one projectile damage. So we'll use this power, and I'm gonna do two damage to this platform here which will actually be increased to three because we need to get rid of that because while this is in play uh, Baron Blade is immune to damage and then we'll do the other damage to the Blade Battalion getting rid of them alright they got destroyed and he ends his turn and draws a card another technological advancement uh, let's see here she has uh, this is not useful just yet uh, so she's got a bunch of these mechanical golems uh, but she needs to basic, basically be able to destroy an equipment in order to put one of these into play and we do not Well, actually we have a scrap metal here So we have a scrap metal here uh, at the end of your turn either take one mechanical golem from play back into your hand or destroy this card At the start of your turn you may play a card if you do destroy this card Well, we don't care about any of that because we're just gonna we just care that it's an equipment So we're gonna play this card and then we're gonna use her power destroy one equipment card if you do put a mechanical golem from hand into play So we'll do that uh, we can choose to destroy any equipment in play. We're going to destroy this scrap metal though because we don't care about that. And then who do we want to put into play? We have Champion Bot. Uh, damage, increased damage dealt by Unity and by Mechanical Islands by one. Uh, nah, don't care about that too much. Um, whenever he is dealt damage, he deals each and every damage. Uh, that actually could be useful. I might go with that guy. Uh, let's go ahead and go with the Cryobot. So anytime the Cryobot takes damage, he's going to do damage to everybody. And the B-Bot is really awesome. only has one hit point, but when it dies, it deals two damage to something, and it can destroy an ongoing or environment card, which will be very useful. Now, the Scholar, I hated this character at first because it seems like all he does is heal himself the entire time, but he has more uh, usefulness than that. Uh, let's see here. Alchemical Redirection. Redirect all damage that will be about two hero targets to the Scholar. At the start of your turn, destroy this card. Uh, that's okay, not great yet. No one to turn loose. Discard your hand. He deals one target X lightning damage equal to the number of cards discarded this turn. That's actually good. Wow. Uh, solid to liquid. Uh, to start a turn, you know, discard a card or destroy this card. And whenever he would regain hit points, increase the amount. He see, he, this lets him heal faster. Uh, and then I kept, I missed this one. Keep moving. Search your deck for an elemental card and put it into play. Shuffle your deck. You may play a card. Uh, he is at max health actually right now. Uh, Redirect your. Uh, this is actually kind of uh, interesting, but hmm. Discard your hand. I don't want to do that. Um. Man, none of these are actually really great right now. Um, so what I can do is, I'm, actually, I'm going to skip playing a card. And if I choose to skip playing a power, power, uh, I get to draw two cards at the end of the turn. And the reason I did that is because his power is just to heal himself for one hit points. And he's not damaged, so uh, I'd rather just draw two cards and prepare for next turn. So now the environment goes. So we got a filter officer, health of nine. At the end of the environment turn, this card deals the non-agent target with the second lowest hit point for projectile damage. So he's going to shoot somebody. Uh, I'm going to... So these are tied, so I'm going to say he's going to shoot this. Because I'd rather him shoot that than my guy. Alright, so he plays Haste and Doom. Baron Blade deals each hero target two toxic damage. Play the top card of the villain deck. Alright, so we're gonna hit choose for me. Everybody's gonna take two damage. 
Uh, ooh, uh, he gets to use the power, so he's gonna do this. He's gonna quick shot and shoot the platform there. Blam, we almost got that out of the way. And then everybody else uh, takes some uh, toxic damage there. Alright, so... Uh, oh, and because Crawbat took some damage, uh, we're gonna say that this takes some damage. So he's gonna do one damage to everything, which is in increased by Legacy's Galvanize. Um, and then I'm gonna just hit Choose for me, and it's gonna hit everybody else. All right, and he plays another card. He put another mobile defense platform. Great. All right. Now these officers can tend. These agents may help us at times, but they can hurt us. So we want to get them out of the way. So the card I'm definitely gonna play here is Inspiring Presence. When this card is played, each hero target regains one hit point and increased damage dealt by hero targets by one. So we're gonna play that. All right. So everybody gained a health. And then uh, Legacy is going to do a Galvanize. So now between the Galvanize and the Inspiring Presence, everybody has plus two to all their damage that they deal, which is very nice. Okay, um, Chrono Range is a very interesting character. So what do we want to put here? Uh, kill on Sight. Uh, that is actually interesting. I could do Sudden Contract, but I don't think I really want to do that right now. Um, it's... Well, let me see. Search your deck for a body card and put it into play. Shift your deck and then I can do one damage to something. Um, I actually think I want to put this kill on sight. I'm going to put... Because I can put that on, on the mobile defense platform. Um, but this neurotoxin... No, we'll play this. We'll put, play the kill on sight. We'll play that. We'll put it on the uh, mobile defense platform. And now when that, that gets destroyed, Chrono Ranger will get to draw three cards. And then he's going to shoot it himself. Uh, and he's going to get increased by Legacy stuff. So Legacy doesn't attack directly. But man, his, his, his effects just you know have you know, lots of implications. Okay, uh, Omnitron X. I definitely... Um, getting this Bioengineering Beam would be good. But I don't really need that quite yet. Um, or component card. Is this a component card? Yeah, so I'm going to play this right here. Technological advance. Search your deck for a plating card or a component card. Put it into play and shuffle your deck and then you may draw a card. So I'm going to play that. And that's going to let me put something into play. And I think I want to put um, this Gaussian Coil Blaster. It'll let me shoot all con Actually, maybe I want this Electro Deployment Unit. I want this Electro Deployment Unit. At the start of your turn, either draw a card or play a card. If Omnitron X is, is dealt 5 or more damage in a single turn, destroy this card. So we're going to put that into play. So Omnitron needs a few turns to sort of set up. Uh, once he's set up, though, man, he can do just some ridiculous stuff. And then we're going to Rocket Punch. Yeah. I could do Rocket Punch for some extra damage. But I want to set up. I'm, I'm actually not going to do that damage right now. I'm going to use this other card. Review the top card of a deck, put it into play, or into the trash. So I'm going to do it on himself. Um, and then he can do a slip through time at the end of the turn. You may play a card and you may, oh man, yes. I'm going to put that, put that in play. So at the end of a turn, we get an innovation ray. That's good. Uh, so now this slip to, through time is letting us play a card. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and put, um, man, I could just play this. <laughs> um, but not going to do that just yet. We're going to put, we've got damage on the table. We're going to put this innovation ray I don't really need that. I, I think I want to go all offensive. Uh, we'll put this bio No, we don't need that either. All right, we'll just put this Gaussian Coil Blaster. And we get to use the power. Okay, we'll use this Rocket Punch. Now, notice uh, I have two powers on the table, but I can only use one. You can only use a given power once per turn, even if you get extra uses of power. So we'll do this, and we'll get to shoot. We're just going to focus on um, that mobile defense platform and just blast the hell out of it and we'll hit it again and I think actually that destroys it nice all right and oh and then uh, uh, Chrono Ranger is gonna draw three cards because of the bounty that he just collected okay now our girl here she did not draw an equipment we need equipment um, we don't really, this is the only thing she could play right now, she doesn't need it. So actually we're gonna skip everything that 
she does is she's gonna draw two cards and that construction pylon is really nice that's gonna let her put two bots into play okay um this guy here i know pretty much what i want to do i could do this prophecy axion each player draws a card each player each hero character may either regain two hit points or deal themselves three psychic damage and use a power. Um, that's actually interesting, but I don't need to do that yet. Um, so I think what we're going to do, you, and then you may play a card. Oh, this is interesting. Um, how do we want to do this? I think I'm just going to put this mortal form to energy at the start of your turn. Either discard one card or destroy this card. So we're going to put that. And whenever he heals, he, he gets to deal damage. So he's going to go ahead and heal himself right now. For one. And then I get to do a damage to somebody. I'll do it to uh, that, the bad guy there. There we go. All right. And then he draws a card. Okay, so now the environment's gonna go, and the environment is going to put an imprisoned rogue. It's an inmate. Increase damage dealt by inmate to my one at the start of the environment turn. Destroy the agent with the highest hit points. Oh boy, he's gonna kill somebody. Um, all right, he's gonna shoot somebody. Uh, I'm gonna have him just shoot the rogue. If he shoots the bot though, that's four damage though. But if he shoots the bot, the bot will get to hit everybody, all the bad guys. No, I'm gonna have him hit the rogue. I want to keep my bot in play if, if possible. Alright, he does a slash and burn. He deals the hero tower at the lowest hit points 5 melee damage. And and then he the hero tower at the highest hit points 7 fire damage. So this is going to hurt. Uh, we're going to hit choose for me. So he hit my cryobot. My cryobot is going to blast everything back. All non-hero targets. And because of legacy, it just does crazy amount of damage. Um... He gets to use the power, so we're gonna use this, his quick shot, and we're gonna shoot Baron Blade himself. And went, man, four damage with all these bonuses. Ouch. Okay, so now, um, Surge of Strength, we don't really need that, increases his uh, damage. Flying Smash isn't really that useful right now. We could do a Danger Sense. Um,. Actually, Danger Sense isn't a bad idea. Um, takedown will be useful, but we don't really need that now. We'll do Danger Sense. It's ongoing, so it stays in play. And Legacy is immune to damage from environment cards. Uh, so we'll put that. And then he's just going to do Galvanize, increasing everybody's damage. All right. That's what I would have liked to put Fortitude, but that's okay. Okay, what is Chrono Ranger going to do? He's got a Displaced Armory. Search your deck or trash for an equipment card and put it into play. If you search your deck, shuffle your deck, and he deals one damage to a target. I might do that. I might do this Eye on the Prize. Um, actually, bo uh, I could do both, I believe. So, let's do Eye on the Prize. Um, I, may draw a I draw a card and play a card, so we'll play that. And I'm going to do a damage to Baron Blade, and it's going to be increased by a lot. So, boom. And then we drew a card, a Displaced Armory. Um, and then do I have something that lets me go again? No. But I would certainly, uh, I'm going to do this Displaced Armory. Search your deck for tr or trash for an equipment card and put it into play. And, alright, so we're going to put that. And we're going to search our deck. And I want to put, I think I want to put Jizz, even play addition card during your play phase. So, is that what we want to do? Yes. So, we'll put that into play. And then I can do one damage to Baron Blade, which will be increased. There you go. Alright, and we get one one more card to play, and I think we're going to go ahead and do this other Displaced Armory. So we'll play that, and we'll search our deck for something. And I think I want to put, this Temporal Grenade is good, uh, but this Compound Bow is, is very useful. That, that'll do, actually, that'll do some nice damage. Uh, and then I get to do damage, so I'll focus on Baron Blade. Um... I mean, pretty much, it's the, the key to winning is just 
pounding on the main villain uh, when at all possible. But, you know, usually you're going to have to do other stuff. And then he's going to use this compound bow. Now, this is going to get ugly here because it deals one damage to something. So we're going to say Baron Blade. It's going to get increased a bunch, right? So it does that. And then it lets me do another damage of whatever type I want. Uh, I'm going to say freaking Infernal. And that also is going to get increased. So that just did eight damage. And then he drew a card. So he's done with his turn. So we've got Baron Blade all the way down to eight. So now, um, all right, so Omnitron X turn, who is actually incidentally my favorite character. Electro deployment unit. Start your turn, either draw a card or play a card. Um, so I can draw a card or play a card. Now I can hit meanwhile to look at what I have here. I think I want to play a card. So I'm going to say play a card. Uh, oops. What did I do? I did the wrong thing. Let's go back here. Uh, play a card is what I wanted to do. Yes. Okay. Uh, I want to put this inner... Oh, actually... Putting this is a uh, is kind of a little bad. Uh, I'm gonna hold on to that though, and I'll tell you why in a second. So we're gonna put the innovation right, um, and then he's gonna deal damage. I'm gonna deal damage to that guy, and I think we're gonna shoot this officer. We don't need him around. The agents tend to work against us sometimes, and then that's it. We're gonna stop dealing damage, and then I can have up to three targets gain a health. Um, I'm gonna give one to the cryobot though. He's probably still gonna get destroyed. Um, we'll give one to Omnitron himself because he his health tends to go down pretty quickly. And then uh, uh, also to the scholar. And because the scholar got healed, he gets to deal one damage or something. So we'll do it on Baron Blade, and it's increased. Man, we're just kicking Baron Blade's butt. Okay, now 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 the reason uh what was i saying okay the reason i'm holding on to these cards here is because i know for a fact that baron blade has a card that can blow up all these components and stuff these equipment so these cards will help help me get back on track if i get destroyed and i have plenty of good stuff here so i don't need to worry about it now i think um and actually i can use this defensive blast to destroy some of my cards also but i think i'm gonna put this bioengineering beam and that lets me destroy an environment card um, and then do two damage to something um, and you know what I think I might go ahead and just do that let's uh, we'll do that we destroyed that agent and then we shoot Baron Blade and now he flips he's upset now he just put on his armored suit and we drew a card so now he's he's, he's pissed off so we got this construction pylon, put up to two mechanical golems from hand into play and then destroy this card. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and put that down and I'm going to go ahead and use it, put up to two mechanical golems into play. We're going to put the champ, well let's zoom in, champion bot uh, increases damage dealt by unity and by mechanical golems by one. So we'll put that and we're going to put this turret bot that at the start of my turn it deals one target three projectile damage. So if I can keep these in play. That's gonna do a lot of damage with, with legacies bonuses. Okay, now I gotta I gotta either get rid of mortal form coil, mortal form to energy, or discard a card. I'm okay discarding a card. Uh, I think I'm gonna discard uh, this solid to liquid, and I can play a card. This here, uh, this does mass damage, which we don't need right now. Redirect all damage that we built. Eh. That's not all that terribly useful. Um, I think actually I might do this Proverbs and Axioms. So each player draws a card and then they can, yeah. Uh, oh, but if they deal themselves, they'll do deal themselves extra damage. Um, but I think it's fine. Um, so I'm going to just hit choose for me. So everybody's going to draw a card. All right. This is going to get <laughs> convoluted here. Alright, so everybody drew a card. Now, we'll just sit, choose from here and we'll start from the top. So Legacy can choose to either gain hit points or do yourself three psychic damage and use a power. Well, he has no powers, I think, in play right now that we really want to use. So we'll go ahead and just say he's going to heal, regain two hit points. 
And let's see, Chrono Guy wants to use a power. So he's going to deal himself three psychic damage, but it's going to increase by legacy. So it's five. So that hurt. But then he's going to use a power, and we're going to use the bow. Oh my god, we're going to use this bow. Uh, and then we're just going to hit him for eight damage. Four from that, and then we'll make it for uh, lightning. Why not? I don't, think, I don't think he's immune to anything right now. Okay, who's this? Omnitron can use a power. Um, how's his health looking? He's fine. So we'll do that. Do three psychic damage to himself, which will be five. Uh, but then he can use... Uh, oh, hold on a second. Oh, he's got no power he can use. So hold on. Let's... Wait, what's going on here? The scholar, which card should be destroyed first? Uh, let's back up here. I don't know what would would happen there. That was his player card. What happened there? I played the proverbs and axioms. Is that a glitch? All right. All right we all draw cards. Uh, we're drawing different cards this time. Looks like. All right. Choose for me. He's gonna. Actually, I'm going to say he's going to deal three da damage to himself and use a power. He's going to use his Galvanize. Uh, this guy's going to deal damage to himself and use a power. Ouch! It took six. But he's going to uh, go ahead and use this. And actually, now this time it's going to do five damage. Okay, uh, and we're just going to say it's energy, the second one. There you go, five damage. And then, now hold on, did he, I think what happened was, because he used all his power, so he doesn't have any power to use. So we're going to just say he regains health. I think that was the problem here. And now Unity can use a power or gain health. I don't think she has any powers in play that she wants to use. So she's just going to gain health. And then the Scholar, I think, is just going to... He's going to go ahead and regain two hit points. Uh, but then he gets to do damage, so he's going to do it to Baron Blade. And it'll be five? Five damage. Bam. Oh my god, we're just wrecking him. And then he can use his power to heal himself for one. And then do a bunch to Baron Blade. So again, uh, Baron Blade is pretty much the easiest villain anyway, so that's why we're, you know, working him over relatively easily. Uh, an impri another imprisoned rogue comes out. We don't care about him. Alright, Baron Blade with his power, so he's going to do an elemental redistributor. Whenever Baron Blade will be dealt fire, cold, or lightning damage, redirect that damage to the hero target with the lowest hit points. So we just got to be careful uh, of that. Which target? Oh, okay, have the highest HP. I uh, will say him. Um, and then we're going to use this. <laughs> oh my god. So because uh, Baron Blade did damage, uh, Chrono, Chrono Ranger gets to use a power. So he's going to use it on. Um, this would pretty much almost kill him. Um, so, yeah. Well, hold on. Elementary Redistributor protects him against fire cold and lightning so we don't want to do that fire cold and lightning all right hit him for five and we're just gonna say sonic radiant why not there we go boom and that puts him down to one health so we've got this in the bag and legacy who has not done any damage this entire time I think is gonna go ahead and I could do a flying smash. Or I could do a motivational charge. Uh, but we're just gonna go ahead and do a flying smash. So play that. And he can hit three targets with this. So just because we can, we're gonna hit the elementary redistributor. Bloom. We're gonna punch this rogue. Bam. And then finally finish off Baron Blade with the final hit. And there we go. 
All right, so that is Baron Blade. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this playthrough. I personally really love this game, and I intend to be doing more episodes of this, and um, I want to do more episodes of uh, digital tabletop games, and you'll know them because they'll say digital tabletop on them. So guys, thanks for watching, and uh, be sh if you like this video, be sure to give me a like down at the bottom. I'd love to hear your comment, and if you want to see more videos I've done, please be sure to click in the upper right hand corner to see links to more episodes I've done. So guys, until next time, I'll see you soon.